Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin, I'm a geek, you are watching Kevin the Geek, and welcome to my reaction to that Peter K thing. So, um, I was thinking about new stuff to, to potentially do, and it, this kind of stemmed from me wanting to do uh, a little bit more stand-up comedy. Because I've only really done one, which was an audience with Billy, Billy Connolly. Um, and I found one um, which is um, uh, basically a really early uh, stand-up featuring Peter Kay, which I am going to be doing in a couple of days' time, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, but also while I was looking into that, um, I came across this, which of course is something that people have suggested to me before, which is that Peter Kay thing. And what I found interesting with this uh, pilot episode, um, it wasn't just like Ed. Um, so apparently there was um, a TV show called Comedy Lab, which basically showcased pilots of experimental comedy shows and kind of judging on, on how they did, they would sometimes get picked up for, you know, full series. Um, apparently some shows on there that have gone on to do full series, of course that Peter K is one of them. Uh, Trigger Happy TV is apparently one of them. Phone Jacker, neither of them that I've seen. Um, Jimmy Carr had his first TV appearance on the Comedy Lab in Jimmy Carr's World of Corporate Videos. Never heard of that. Um, so loads of different stuff that has kind of developed from that. Um, oh, apparently Carl Pilkington Satisfied Fool. Never heard of that either. Uh, but yeah, loads, loads of potential stuff with that. So what we're watching today is um, um, the pilot episode which is apparently called The Services. I don't know anything about the show, I don't know what it is, so it's going to be interesting. Um, now of course if you would like to see my videos uh, on an early basis then when they come out on YouTube you can do so by joining my Patreon. You can get ex uh, early access to my videos amongst other perks. Also don't please, uh, or rather do please subscribe if you're new and of course do drop your comments in the videos below. But let's check out that Peter K thing. I've driven down here a million times. It still brings the ears up on the back of my neck, though. PK loves to dress him as well, doesn't he? You know, they say that home is where the heart is, and my heart definitely lies here. At first services, Bolton. She's my first, my last, my everything. It's good, no windows are wiped down. I'll tell young Matthew, filthy. Pearl Harmon has been the manageress of the Bolton Services for four years. Morning, Brian. Missed a bit some. Today's just another day for the staff of the services, but not for local DJ Paul Leroy. He's here to draw up support for local radio station Chorley FM as it bids for an FM licence. It's 8am and time for day shift roll call. Morning, team. You may not have realised that we've got a camera crew in today from Channel 4 in London and they're here today doing a documentary on our services. Just oh. give a little bit of an insight into what goes on. So it's a mockumentary style thing, okay. I don't know if all the episodes are like this or if they feature different things. But I like, I like mockumentaries. I, I think they, they can be really good if, they, if they're done well. So Alison, are you chewing? Spit it out please, love, in the bin. It's like dragging nails down a blackboard. Spit it out, will you? Have you gotten about a little chat we had yesterday? So it's soon. Just been the day off. Pardon? It's just been the day off. You're in today because you're a team player girl and because Adina's phone is sick with a water infection. That's why you're in today. Mr. Hughes never calls in on our days off. Mr. Hughes is long gone and you could quite easily be joining him. Think on, young lady. Suits me. Pardon? Suits me. Whoa. Showing off. After a failed marriage and expulsion from his job with the RAC, Alan McClarty formed his very own motor recovery service, the ARC. Excuse me, love. Are you to share one of these? Obviously not. It's that fine red that soaks you through. <laughs> it's, it's funny, really. You see, I think I'm sitting on a gold mine with this business. You see, other road companies, they don't treat the staff half as well as I do. You see, I'll name them, I don't care. You can bleep it out later. The AA, the RAC, I was with the RAC for 14 years before they showed me the door. 
Ik stuur me de door. Ik ga de eerste shoot you guys in de AR stuur ook niet shirts. Is het goed? Alright, thanks. We're already in there, thanks. Is sure? Yeah. Alright. This is AR, see, not RAC. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. The fuse might want changing or it might just want rewiring. If it gets too hot, get me or Sonia or alternatively, just throw a blanket over it. Right, anybody any questions? We're going to tell them after this lot being here. What? Standard equity rate, surely. Is that Paddy McGuinness? One word, Terry. Job club. Right, let's go and do it to them before they do it to us. Do what to who? Uh, so that's a foot spa, a health spa, and a £20 voucher for your local spa, so near so. Three fantastic prizes, and all available today on Trolley FM, your favourite waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> It is very beginnings. Wow, that's a big hair. Matthew is a part-time customer well, care assistant who's in the last year of a drama degree. <laughs> Oops! Don't fall. <laughs> Wet floor. Right? Don't fall on that floor. I don't want you suing me. Matthew's becoming increasingly frustrated with his job at the services and longs for the smell of the grease paint rather than that of the toilet. Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at this. Don't come in here. That, no, that, dis that disgusts me. Why can't people flush the filthy bastards? Oh. It's nothing, it's just... And the smell, it smells like a rotten old station, doesn't it? Oh. They should know after last Easter. Yeah, it's on Channel 4. Yeah, I know I can't believe it either. And you never know, Carol Maggot cover at Radio Times. See Gavin Alroy's face when he sees that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, am I going to chat? Sure, yeah, never thought of that. Esther, Kilroy. Mm, well, look at that mole. She'll have passed the driving test. She had a record at top 40. And they did a bloody life. You see that? Oh, yeah, Carol. Might get a taste of that eye life you read about, eh? Mmm. Mind up in Mary Claire. <laughs> Private conversations. Hey, Mandy, there's corned beef open already. Shit. Don't point that thing at me. Look at the state of me. I'm not happy. I'm going to kill Adina. She never does any prep. Leaves me to do it all. Then she calls in sick with a water infection. Yeah, right. Hmm. Funny, that was her sister's end night last night. She did this to me last week. She called in sick. Supposedly she had a bad leg. Anyway, I know for a fact she didn't, because our Jason saw her that night in Club XS, off her face, dancing on a podium doing the macarena. Hmm. It's not on. Nah, macarena's anyway, shit. She waltzes in the next day, reeking a tear Maria. Hands me a sick note, then buggers off. I'm surprised she doesn't have that sick note laminated. <laughs> I hate it, I hate it. I hate it here. I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm ready. I'm tired. I think, I think I think I've got ME. You know, I'm always tired. I'm always here and all. <sighs> and I was up all night learning my lines. Got a big final production next week. I've got six monologues to learn. We're doing a lecture by Sophocles. Oh. I'm Orestes, the son of Agamemnon. Oh, Can you believe that? That's a laugh. I've got to work up enough motivation to stab my own mother for four nights. <laughs> on a map made of hospice. <laughs> Look at that shine. Anyone around. Success for Chorley FM depends on Paul Leroy getting enough listeners to support their FM license application. But Paul's not happy. And the position that he's been given at the far end of the car park is far from ideal. Oh, screw this. This is bollocks. I'm not happy. Paul goes off to complain, but in his absence, another problem arrives. Uh -oh. Right, ladies and gentlemen, this is services. We're stopping here for ten minutes and ten minutes only, so don't get in a meal, right? When I say ten minutes, I mean ten minutes, right? It's just a leg stretch. Was was he less services? Revenez, oh, yeah. 
You're now going to get old Billy's game off and back on in ten minutes. These minutes for the French. These minutes. No meal. This is a pantalon. <laughs> they're literally going to take ten minutes just to just to sit down on the toilet. A leg stretch, right? Okay, and don't get any cans of pop because they can roll under the foot pedals and cause a major road accident. <laughs> right, so think on. I think they should hang joyriders on the national. Just bring back capital punishment. Hang people on the national lottery. Excuse me, sir. Can I hear the... No. Hang them on the national lottery. And when the body drops, the foot says the ball's rolling. You know what I think? One on a Wednesday. One on a... Excuse me, sir. Sorry, love. Oops. Fucked that up, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, he did. Right. Uh, she give me some shit about environmental health. So at least it's brightening up. Oh no way! Forget that. Oh damn. My name's Utah. That's my Wild West name. My real name's Craig. <laughs> no, I like that. I said it. It's a Wild West shake. That. Uh oh. You watch my trigger finger. That's it. Hey. Also, so you say that's a fake four. tash is going to come off. Hmm. It's not on Channel 5, is it? Bloody garbage, that. <laughs> you see that? No. It's all quiz shows and repeats. Pretty much. And Mind you say that, I don't see much TV, you know, driving these girls around. She's took it out of me this morning. She's thirsty. She's had 80 gallon for breakfast. No danger. I used to drive a sister ship, you know, she's a big girl, I know, but Dougie's, Dougie, my mate, he's took that to uh, Ruth Maddock on a mystery tour. Rather him than me in this weather. No, the big girls, the pair of them, and uh, sailing through some of these small villages, it's like threading the eye of a needle. Oh, yeah. I am Orestes, the son of Agamemnon. Son of the warlord who led the Greeks <laughs> to Troy. Hold on. Oh, shit. Today, today we are in Argos. The ancient line you, la land you paint for our long to see again. What do you think? It's okay. It's supposed to be a Greek tragedy. The director wants to update it with the, the 60s gangland London. I don't know, oh, what? tragedy. Wants it all craze and cashmere and long coats. Look if I get duffel coats. He's all, he smokes draw, uh, joints and you know on, on the on the set. Um, last week, someone somebody walked leaves in the bottom of the shoes, right? But it was raining. You just walked them in naturally, you know. He comes down, who's walked leaves in, right? And we're all just looking at one another like we we'll all have, you know. Well, it's just quite about ten minutes, and then it says, "I like it, I like it." Go and bag some up. How does outside? We're carrying our bags, filling them up with leaves and putting them in. Throwing them all around the set. Let's bring the outside inside. Let's bring the outside inside. <laughs> Pick that up, please. Right. <laughs> Were there a couple sat in front of you? Yeah, that French couple. Yeah. Uh, queuing with a tray. You are? I saw them queuing with a tray. Oh, Jesus. Uh -oh. Excuse me. They left the shivers to me, I've seen all the shivers. Did you say that in English? They left the shivers to me, I've seen all the shivers. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Fucking smart ass. It's getting beyond a joke, this. I've got to pick up in bands, little one. Bloody French, they can't speak a word of English. Some of the many can, things some of them that can can't. disrupt the smooth running of the services, it's Utah's missing French tourists who will cause the most trouble today. <laughs> so I says to her, I says, ball job or no job. <laughs> no, they're getting on a National Express, that couple. What? They're getting on a National Express. Oh, bollocks to this. Come on, oh. they can make their own way to Windermere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leave the French there then, I guess. Coach is gone. <laughs> and the part one. 
Well, I, I think after part one, I'm enjoying it so far. It's one o'clock yes. and there are clouds on Pearl's horizon. Yes, well, there's going to be plenty of coaches coming into the car park with services. A French couple? Not to my knowledge, no. I'm, I'm very busy, I have enough in play. I can't be dealing with people getting, getting back on their own coaches. I have enough to do. What? I'm, not to my knowledge, I'm a... Well, it's NMP, love. Not my problem. Bye-bye. They've a damn cheek, National Express, falling up here. Apparently a French couple have got on one of their coaches instead of the one that... I can't be responsible for people getting on their own coaches. Yeah, it's that's not nothing to do with you. I have enough of my play. If I had a pound for every person who got back on their own coach and left by coaches in this place, I'd be a millionaire. Hmm. I'd have four pound for this week, I tell you. Nobody else than you. July 83, this. Ryan Paris, the only one, the only hit he ever had. Classic, that, this, all this classic 80s. I get persecuted for playing 80s, but, you know, to them, you know, it's just brilliant, isn't it, you know? I mean, 80s, it was the classic time that, you know, people say it was like the 60s, but it, it was the 80s. You know, where everybody knew what they were doing, and those who were there, remember, summers were endless, and every year something different happened, you know. Dolce Vita there by Ryan Paris. Apparently, <laughs> we're all living our lives in a Dolce Vita. Come down, it's Charlie FM, it's coming at you. Uh, it's coming in your ears, so come down, you know, don't be, don't be frightened with the weather, we're carrying on regardless. So, uh, come down, let's see you down here. <laughs> and here we go with Anika, and apparently this is from 81, another one hit wonder, and she's having problems with a Japanese boy. You're listening to... Yeah. Another hit from the 80s. That's right, here we go with Anika. <laughs> listen to this. Listen to Classic. See, the 80s, everyone was crazy, you know, they were, no one cared, they're out of their minds. I fractured my femur, listen to this. I love them glasses, I fractured my femur, though. limbo dancing in Pontins in 82. I drove back six hours towing a caravan. I never felt a thing. I thought it was wind the whole way back. No. Listen, listen to this. You couldn't buy this. This is the classic. Oh, I know, that was a bit of a low point in my life because I spent a lot of time in Bolton Roll Infirmary after about four weeks. And, you know, I stumbled into uh, hospital radio, Radio Lollipop. Turned out that that broken femur turned out to be the break I've been searching for. I was with them for, for you know, I joined them and started doing fundraising events, charity events, and now that's led to this, Charlie FM, and fingers crossed, eh? Fingers crossed. Well, it's not my problem, Gavin, is it? This is this bloody French couple. They're up the M6 now having deployments. Listen to... Well, they want to put the clocks back an hour. They're in England now. We invented time. <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. I can't be held responsible for negligent coach drivers or French tourists who can't tell the difference between brown and blue. Yeah. Because we're chock a block down here today, Gavin. Yes, we're talking double figures. Yes. Well, ring Wally Sarnal. That's the best advice I can give to you. Stand furry hands to you too and all. <laughs> He's a cheeky get that Gavin, all right. He used to he used to work here, he used to mop toilets under me before he got lured over to Lancaster as lodge manager, all exotic. The bloody French. We, me and Ardeen, we got caught up in Depp in 93 in one of them <clears throat> tractor and truck disputes. Eight hours and nasty. They were setting fire to sheep at one point. Especially they weren't that bullshit in 1939 when we needed them, huh? We're doing a bit of good then. Oh, the dog's turned up. Oh, dog's gone. The RAC wanted me out of the picture, right? 14 years, I gave them everything. I was a patsy. I was a bloody patsy. Alan Harvey Oswald, that was me. Wrong place, wrong time. The face didn't fit. She was 15. <laughs> She, she was 15 and a half, eh? Or six months. She looked much older, especially wearing that basque. That's brilliant, Irene. Thanks. Uh, Are you this? Oh, um, that's news. That uh, is, was that a suggestion of what I think that was a suggestion of? What did it just go? I said it with my voice. Oh. Oh. Um. Yeah can kind of understand then why they may get rid of him if he's uh 
If he's been done for something like that. Thanks. Ooh. OK, thanks. Don't forget to book me in for Tuesday. OK, Irene, bye. Brilliant. We've got a celebrity coming this afternoon. TV's own Bob Carroll G's from um, hey. Hold Tight and Tis Was. He's going to be coming into services. Irene Kershaw's my mobile hairdresser. She's been giving Bob's niece some highlights. He's phoned up from his mobile. He's on his way up to see her up the 61. He's going to call into services. We're the only services on the 61. That's fantastic news. Great. Well, a couple of frame photographs with the foyer. I'll give our Keith a ring, get him bring his camera down. We had a celebrity through since last August. We had that Bill Bermont through, that rugby player. You were a miserable get. <laughs> he had a tenner's worth of unleaded, an orange euro and buggered off. Oh, this is great. I wonder if he'll have his uh, spit the dog with him, you know. Apparently he's never without it. It's like his other arm. Yeah. Hey, we'll be needing these if we're going to DEFCON 5. It's a familiar drill for the staff at the services. And all the stops are pulled in anticipation of the arrival mm. of a celebrity. You could just see Bob Carlgy's red in this, couldn't you? Chief Leader to First Eagle, over. Chief Leader to First Eagle, do you read me? I can see her, she's over there. Mm. Chief Leader to First Eagle, are you there or what? Answer mm. me, <laughs> over. Yes, I'm here, Miss Hardman, fat bitch. First Eagle, when you clean the ride, give those windows a wipe down and use the proper cloth. As opposed to what? Yes, over. First Eagle, have you heard me? Yes, I've heard you, over. First Eagle, are you there or what? Jesus, I'm here. Push the button on you, stupid bitch. I beg your pardon. OK, it's Joey <laughs> FM. We've still got three fantastic prizes to give away. A health spa, a foot spa and a £20 voucher for your local spa. It's Charlie FM with the listeners come first down here at the services, Bolton. The crowds are gathering, as you can see. So come on, and you too can join the Rocksteady crew. Come on. Oh. That's Go all you on. need to get, get people involved. Give them a balloon. Give them a balloon. Support for Charlie That's FM. It, the crowds are thin on the ground, <laughs> but Paul's wife Sandra has turned up to offer him some oh. encouragement. Oh, it's his own kids, I guess. Did I see a photograph of the wife? <laughs> That's it, there. That's Denise. Yeah, God. God, but not forgotten. God. Aren't you, Denise? Oh, she's oh. watching this, Denise. Hey, you left me in the shit, didn't you? Hey, God. Came home to an empty house. Empty. All she left me was a stock cock and a spider plant. Empty. Clean me out, she did. Lost my job, lost my wife. I stood through that. I stood by her through thick and thin. I stood by that woman, you know? And all because I had a weekend fling with a barmaid called Tina. Oof. Matthew is not amused. This is getting beyond a joke now. I'm sure Bob Carroll, geez, has seen soft porn before. <laughs> He's finding Pearl's celebrity extras an extreme embarrassment. You know, Bob Carroll, geez, used to do adverts for Elman's Mayonnaise at one time. Oh, we've got a fresh film in there, because last time you had it developed, there were people that had died. I blame Thelma Louise, though. As soon as she saw those two, she was straight out of that kitchen. It's straight at the night school. It was degree this, module that, gotta get a university degree, you know. Nineties woman, straight behind her, you know. And the final straw came when I caught her trying to change a plug. I gave her a crack with that. Yeah. It's four o'clock. Wow. And there's still no sign of either Bob or Spit. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Another big celebrity coming this afternoon. Thanks. You know Richard Harris? Wild geese, Charles and the Ape Man. Not him. Bob Carroll jeans. He spit the dog, aren't we the lucky ones? Eh? <laughs> he looks totally impressed. Straight enough, Oliver, you just like your brother. Alison, go easy with them chocolate sprinkles, will you? They're not cheap. Hello, Sonia, yes. Oh help. He's well, he's here. Oh, Matthew! Matthew, Bob's here! He's where? Oh, piss. Matthew, he's, he's, all, he's southbound, lad. He's over the other side of the road. He's over the road! <laughs> Get over there, will you? He's here! <laughs> Run! Oh. Run! I don't get paid enough for this. Where is he? <laughs> he's driving out! He's driving off! Chief Leader at first, he's gone! <laughs> Chief Leader! <laughs> this Hardman, he's gone! <laughs> he's driven out! Oh, what a bastard! 
Alas, Bob and Spit came and went, along with the rest of the travellers who passed through the services. Oh, damn it! All the Roy and Sandra pack up the equipment. No, oh, no, no, get that! The day has been a washout for Chorley FM. Hurry up, it's raining. Right. Yeah, of but course. The staff, Give the your services, wife the heavy stuff. It's the end of just another working day. You can have tomorrow off if you like. Adina's phoned in, she's coming in. Besides, you got a cupboard today, didn't you? So. Oh, if, if you're sure, I mean, I didn't mind. No, I ain't quick before I change your mind. <laughs> forty-two pound for that. If only forty-two pound, you get a roadside recovery, road start, relay, and you can. You screw my wife for all. Hey, hey, I'll throw that on the floor. Bastard, these cost money to print. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Right here, I see it all. Would you? Uh, bollocks! Why <laughs> oh, are fucking bother? Right then, I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, I'm off tomorrow. Uh, I'll see you Thursday then. No, you won't see me Thursday. I've got a day off, thank God. I'm saying that I've got a roll of line all coming. They'll probably be putting that down until dinner. Uh, Friday. You won't see me Friday. I'm over the road. We're leaving for Sonia. I'll see you Saturday then, yeah? Yes, you'll see me Saturday. All okay, right. Alison. Bye bye. Ciao. As one shift ends, another begins. Go in now, Asif. I left them keys hanging up for you. I've done the rotors for the next three weeks. All right. If there's any problem, don't ring me. It won't be long before Pearl is back for yet another working day at the services, Bolton. Well, another one back to dust, as Freddie would say. You missed a bit, Brian. God damn it, Brian! Next week. Pearl has trouble with the toilets. I don't care whose it is, I don't care what it is, it's floating. <laughs> Matthew has first night nerves. Oh, hey. Hey, you bastard. Go on, hey, hey. And Alan finally has a breakdown. We will, we will fuck you. Oh, my That's word. next week at The Services. <laughs> wow. Oh wow! Oh wow! Um, I I don't know if we will actually see any of that because obviously this was a pilot, and I, I don't know the nature of the of the show whether it continues this on or if it does its own completely separate thing. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing that breakdown there for Alan. Um, that was a strange character because at first you kind of root for him. You're like, oh yeah, he, he got sacked from the RAC and he's. You know, he, he set up his own company and he, he wants to do stuff and he's trying to go out in loads. You know, fair play to him, you know. And then he's like, oh, yeah, and I, I slept with an underage girl. Like, oh, and then he's like, and my wife left me. And, and he's and he's, uh, he's really bad mouth. And, oh, you're like, oh, I'm losing a lot of the goodwill that I had for you there. Oh, boy. Um, I, I, I like mockumentaries. I, I, I think, if, like I said, if, they, if they're done well, they, they can be really, really fun. Uh, and that was fun. Uh, I mean, part of it is uh, seeing Peter Kay do all, all of the various different characters, uh, which he's always been very good at doing. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I just think that that was a, a nice uh, introduction to the concept of a show. And like I said, you know, we will have to see um, if we do other episodes, whether they're linked or whether they're completely separate. Um, but that's going to do it for that reaction. Uh, but of course, Peter K will be coming back to the channel literally within a couple of days where I will do an actual bit of stand-up for Peter K, some of his really early stuff. So it'd be interesting, having seen virtually all of the, the big full shows that he's done, um, I'll be interested to see whether it is new stuff or whether it is sort of like the precursor to uh, to other stuff. So, yeah, looking forward to that one. So, of course, don't forget you can join my Patreon where you can get early access to my videos, amongst other stuff. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new, and, of course, drop your comments below. But that is going to do it today for my reaction to that Peter K thing. Thank you very much if you stuck with me to this point. For now, my name is Kevin. I am a geek, and you've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.